So, boys and girls, a really exciting birthday is coming up for Canada on July 1st. Do you know how old our country will be? 150! That's absolutely right. And that's called the sesquicentennial. Can you guys say sesquicentennial? Sesquicentennial. Yeah, it took me a while, too. So, our celebrations will give all Canadians the chance to celebrate our values, our history, and our achievements. And the federal government's vision for the 150th anniversary of Confederation includes four major themes. One, diversity and inclusiveness. Two, the environment. Three, youth. That means you guys. And four, reconciliation with Indigenous peoples. Now, what does being a Canadian mean to you guys? We build things up and not knock them down. Fantastic. Being different. Mm hmm we're all one big family. Absolutely. Um, we have peace, not war. Absolutely. We respect others and ourselves. Absolutely. Those are very, very Canadian things and, and great ideas to take us into the day I became a Canadian, a citizenship scrapbook. My Canadian citizenship scrapbook for my new Canadian sister, no, brother, uh, baby. I am making this book for you because you're not born yet, and Mama says you will not get a citizenship ceremony like me. You'll just be born Canadian. On February 15th, I became a Canadian citizen. So did Mama and Papa. My teacher, Mrs. Fox, says our day was extra special because it was also National Flag Day. This is the flag of Canada. The day we became Canadians, it was minus 22 degrees Celsius and snowing. Baba was outside first thing in the morning when it was still dark. He had to shovel the driveway and clean the snow and ice off the car. He said, I've waited four years for this day. We're not going to miss it because of snow. When it was time to leave, it was still snowing. We all helped to clean the snow off the car again. I wore Canada colors to the citizenship ceremony, and Aunt T gave me the red shoes. Aunt T says, red is a lucky color, you know. She made sure Mama and Baba wore something red, too. The citizenship ceremony was held at my school, Queen Elizabeth Elementary School on King Street. All the kids from my grade six class had special jobs. Megan and Raynell met us at the door. Brett handed out programs to people as they went into the gym. And before I even got my coat off, Chelsea showed me a poster that said, Welcome, New Canadians, in Chinese. She made it just for me and said I could have it after the ceremony. The poster says, Welcome New Canadians in French. This is Welcome New Canadians in Arabic. I think it's very pretty. I'd like to learn how to write the Arabic someday. The front of the gym was decorated with 13 flags of different nations. Mr. Quigley, the citizenship officer, told us that 36 people from 13 countries were becoming Canadians at our ceremony. He showed us to our seats, and he told everyone what to do. He explained stuff. He was nice. We were in the second row, behind Sophia and Maria. They are twins. They're in kindergarten at Queen Elizabeth. Their parents had to escape from Ethiopia at night, or maybe be killed. The family came to Canada as refugees sponsored by a church. The man beside me was Mr. Nguyen. Mama said he looked worried because his English was not so good. His wife and two boys became Canadians last year. Mr. Nguyen couldn't because he didn't speak enough English or French. Baba told him, relax, you already passed the citizenship test. This is like a party. But he still looked worried. The gym got very crowded once the students and teachers filed in. Aunt T was lucky to get a front row seat. There were so many people with cameras, she had to stand in line to take pictures. Baba said the big cameras were for television. We were on the 6 o'clock news. The newspaper took pictures too. When everyone was in place, Mr. Quigley told us what would happen and what we were supposed to do. While we waited, Mama helped me write down all the countries the new Canadians came from on the front of the program. This is the coat of arms of Canada. I thought the lion stood for bravery and the unicorn for imagination. Mama said the lion stands for England and the unicorn stands for France. These words are Latin. They say, from sea to sea. And the crown reminds me of the queen. I like the little lion holding the maple leaf. Order in the court. All rise, said the Mountie, dressed in a red uniform. 
Everyone stood up as the Canadian flag was brought in behind a girl playing the bagpipes very loudly. Baba joked to Mr. Nguyen, I was wrong, one more test. He pretended to put his fingers in his ears, and Mr. Nguyen smiled. Once everyone was marched in, the Mountie said, I declare this court open in the name of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada. Mr. Quigley introduced the man in the robe. His name was Dr. Williamson. He told us a story about how, over 20 years before, he had immigrated to Canada from Scotland. He became a Canadian. He said he loved Canada, and that Canada had given him its highest honour, the Order of Canada. He said we must all work hard for our new chosen country, and he said our most important job is to be a good neighbour. The ceremony was in both official languages of Canada, English and French, and our ceremony was special because it was in three languages. This is Mrs. Singh, a teacher in my school, using sign language for the hearing impaired. I'd like to learn how to sign someday. The Oath of Citizenship. Here, do you guys want to do this with me? Okay. It's, it's, it's kind of cool to have the chance to take the oath, because some of you, if you immigrated and, and got citizenship, will have got to do this. But if you were born here, you might not have ever done this. So say with me, I swear, I swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Queen of, Canada, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, and that I will faithfully observe the laws of Canada and fulfill my duties, and fulfill my duties as a Canadian citizen. As a Canadian citizen. Yeah, it's special. I get to go to some citizenship ceremonies and I take the oath every time as a reminder of what it means to be a Canadian. So now you've had the chance to do that. I took my oath of citizenship in both English and French, and I held my hands to my heart. Some of the new Canadians put their hands on a holy book. We were called up by Mr. Quigley to get our citizenship certificates. When Dr. Williamson gave me my Canadian papers, he said, welcome into the Canadian family. And I said, thank you. It seemed like I shook hands with a hundred people. Mr. Nguyen had a big smile after he got his papers. When he sat down, he said to Baba, now we are all safe. Dr. Williamson threw his arms around the last woman in the line and gave her a big hug. I did not understand why he did this. When everyone was back in their seats, he asked for forgiveness for his excitement. He told us that the last new Canadian he congratulated was his wife. She was from Greenland. Everyone clapped for them and I cut their picture from the newspaper. That's pretty special. The school sang two songs. Mama cried when they sang, What Makes You Special, Canadian Child? And Aunt T cried too. And here we are singing, Oh Canada. Mr. Nguyen was louder than the bagpipes. He sure could sing English. We had a reception in the library. Everyone was very happy. We ate tiny sandwiches. And Sophia and Maria and I liked the round ones made with bread, cheese whiz, and a sweet pickle rolled up inside. There were lots of cakes and cookies too. In the afternoon, Mama and Baba went back to work and I went back to class. Everyone was happy for me. Mrs. Fox presented me with a little gift. Inside the box was a tiny Canadian flag pin. I loved the way it sparkled. And at recess, we built a snowman. The biggest surprise happened at supper time. I was setting up the table for Mama, Baba, and me, and in walked Aunt T and Uncle Doug and my cousins carrying food. The DeSantis family from next door arrived with a giant pan of lasagna and garlic bread. More friends and neighbors came. John from the restaurant where Baba works showed up with plates and knives and forks and glasses and Greek ribs. His family came too, and soon the house was full and the kitchen was filled with food. I ate so many pierogies that I thought I'd burst. Mrs. Fox brought homemade chocolates in the shape of maple leaves. They were delicious. It was a wonderful day. I fell asleep with my lucky red shoes on. Now this special birthday gives us a chance to celebrate our country. It's almost a once in a lifetime opportunity to celebrate. 
So you'll have many opportunities this year all around the city to take part in activities that mark this festive occasion. I really encourage you to get out and enjoy Edmonton and celebrate Canada. Now, can you help me wish Canada a happy birthday? Yes. On three. One, two, three. Well done.